Hello dear traders, I'm Annika Sartkina. Welcome to Insta TV. Yesterday the market cheered the news about robust new home sales in the United States that revived demand for the US dollar. The US Commerce Department said new home sales surged 12.4% in July, reaching their highest level in nearly nine years. The US dollar gained 60 pips against its Australian counterpart. The pair fell to 0.7590. In the early European trade, the Australian versus the US dollar pair corrected and rebounded to 0.7610. Traders opted to sell the Australian dollar in light of the news on Australia's construction sector. The Australian Bureau of Statistics reported that construction output fell 3.7% in the second quarter, much worse than a 0.3% drop in the first quarter of 2016. Analysts had expected a 1.9% decline. Nevertheless, investors view the US currency with a pinch of salt, so their urge to increase long positions on the US dollar is mute. The dynamic of the dollar-yen pair mirrors trading sentiment. The pair is still trading next to a seven-month low. In the Asian session today, the US dollar regained losses, having climbed 40 pips in response to the news about growing demand for new homes in the US. However, the dollar-yen pair is again under pressure since the early European trade. Meanwhile, traders are exercising caution and displaying subdued risk sentiment ahead of the U.S. Fed Chair's speech on the Monetary Policy Toolkit. Janet Yellen will speak at the annual symposium in Jackson Hole on Friday. Her remarks will be of key importance on Wall Street. This was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. See you back soon. Bye.